Hey, it's Hawken on behalf of OBD Advisor, and today we're going to do a video just talking about a couple of the features on the Top Don Phoenix Plus that I really like and I think sets the tool apart from some of the other tools in its general price segment and, of course, the tools that are beneath it. So for our video today, we're going to spend most of our time with the screen maximized so that you can see everything I'm doing on the tool. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're back over here at the tool. And now we're going to take you through, again, just a couple of features that I find really helpful on the Phoenix Plus series. So one of the biggest things that I like about the tool is that you have access to scan the vehicle and build it manually, or you can use the auto scan function. Now, most people are going to use the auto scan function on pretty much every vehicle. But if you run into issues with the vehicle identifying correctly, and occasionally you will run into this if the vehicle happens to be a mid-year build split, uh, something of that nature, then we can turn the key off on the vehicle and go into the scan menu and build the vehicle by year, make, and model. So we're not going to go through that specifically on this particular video, but you can go in here and do this and build the vehicle manually by preventing the tool from pulling the VIN from the vehicle. So that is really a nice feature that a lot of tools do not give you this option. Many tools force you to do it essentially only one way, which is automatic identification. Now, for our video, we're going to do the auto scan. However, I do want to cover one other feature I really like about the tool that is unique. So if you run into a problem with your tool where perhaps it's not executing a specific function, something that you need it to do and you go to do it with the tool and maybe it doesn't work, Top Don's Phoenix Plus offers a feature that very few tools in the market do, and that is the ability to actually roll back your software version. So if you own a Windows PC, you've learned that sometimes when they release a new software update, something might change, and sometimes you get improved functionality, other times you lose functionality. But the ability to roll back that software is crucial to your ability to getting your job done or playing your favorite video game or whatever it might be. So if we want to be able to roll back a software version, what we do is we find the key manufacturer who is the primary manufacturer of the brand line. So if it's a Chrysler, then we would want to delete Chrysler. If it's a Jeep, again, we'd want to delete Chrysler. We're going to do Saab just as an example. So we'll long press on the brand and delete it. Then we go back to the Update Center and we hit the Refresh button. And we see Saab is now listed in the Refresh button uh, after we've hit the Refresh button. So now we can actually click on the drop-down menu and if there is a previous version of the software available, we can roll that software back. Now you'll see on the other manufacturers there are other versions available. So again, very helpful if you do run into an issue with your software that you can roll back to a previous version. Now, the other feature I really want to highlight is the module topology. So module topology is a really nice feature that you get on the Phoenix Plus, and there are very few tools at the price point of the Phoenix Plus that offer this capability. This can be really helpful in your diagnostic process because you can see all of the modules in one shot. So we'll show you this here on the screen. So here we can see the module topology screen shows all of the potential modules the vehicle has. Now we have a couple of different options down at the bottom here. We can choose to scan an individual module. We can do a gateway scan, which will basically ping all of the modules and try to see if they are present on the vehicle. We can do a system scan, which is going to attempt to communicate with all of the modules directly. And then we can do a smart scan, which is the one that we're usually going to do. So we'll show you what the gateway scan looks like. Just so you can see, this is going to try to talk to all of the different registered systems on the gateway. Now this mode will not work on every single vehicle, but on vehicles that have a gateway module, a lot of the time you'll be able to ping all of the modules very quickly like this and see if the vehicle is equipped with them. Now the other thing we can do is we can hit the back arrow to clear the results of this scan. We can do a system scan. 
which is going to go through and try to talk to all of the modules in a little bit more slow and deliberate fashion, just to make sure that they are in fact on the network currently communicating. We're not going to allow it to complete just because we're going to save a little bit of time here on our video. So we're going to go ahead and pause this and we're going to go back and we're going to show you Smart Scan. So Smart Scan is going to physically go into every module at the deepest level and request to see if there are any fault codes. This is your best option when you are trying to determine whether or not there's a malfunction in a specific vehicle. Now this version takes a little bit longer to complete, but this is the mode you want to use if you want to get a clear answer on whether or not there is a problem in a given system. Now, if you don't like module topology, you actually have an option to scan the vehicle in the more traditional sense with just a list of all of the systems and a little bubble showing if that system has codes. It's going to automatically put the systems up at the top that do have fault codes. And again, very, very nice to be able to have that freedom of choice whether you want to look at topology or you prefer to look at a systems list. If you want to see what all systems could be equipped on the vehicle, you can click the full systems list and that's actually going to give you all potential equipment that could exist on this year and model of vehicle. We're not going to go through that today uh, because that's not necessarily a key feature that I want to highlight, but we're going to show you just a couple other things here that I think are really nice on this particular uh, tool. So we're going to pause the scanning session here and we're going to show you one other thing that I really like about the tool. We're going to go into a specific module. We're just going to pick the engine. It gives us all the advanced information on the module right out of the gate, which is nice. We're going to look at data stream. We're going to read by list. And then we're going to look at a few different data pids. Now the engine is not running in this particular case, so we're not going to expect to see a bunch of these change on our screen. However, I'm going to hit OK. Now, one of the things I like the best about the Phoenix Plus is the graphing capability. We actually have the ability to graph quite a few PIDs independently on their own graph, or we can combine up to five, uh, excuse me, four data streams into one chart. This is unique, not a lot of tools will give you this option, but it's nice to be able to combine up to four different data PIDs in one chart like this, and it does graph them independently so you can see and assign them unique colors, which is very helpful when you are trying to make a judgment call about something broken on the car. The other thing I do like about the tool that's really nice is we can actually swipe from the top of the screen down, and we're going to do this real quick here, and we can actually do a screen recording. So if we hit this little camera button, now we have the video recording playhead up on the screen. So this is what I use when I do live data diagnostics. I will actually do a screen recording video because then I can play back the video very quickly with a video player on my computer or on the tool. So basically throughout this, it's going to graph everything and it's going to record this entire screen as a video and then we can save the video and name it something unique. So we'll just name it Data Record Demo. OK. And now we can exit out of our diagnostic session and go back to the main menu on the little home button right here. And we can go into the user info section and we can scroll down here. Screen Recorder data record demo and there we go there's our video so now we can play our video back and you can see the voltage is moving around so the video is indeed playing we can actually manipulate the playhead of the video the way we want on our own and of course you could do this also on a PC or Macintosh if you download the video onto a USB drive or email it to yourself using the web browser on the tool so again the biggest things I like about the Phoenix Plus here are really the ability to collect data in an efficient manner and get a lot of information on the screen with respect to graphing data. I think that's extremely helpful to the modern technician and I think you will find that you really like that feature of the tool. So, I appreciate you taking the time to watch our video today and learn a little bit more about the Phoenix Plus tool. 
So, without any further ado, thanks again for your time. We appreciate you watching this video. So again, just wanted to summarize what we covered here in the video. We talked about some of the unique ability to roll your software level back to achieve greater coverage and functionality in case there are any bugs in the software. Many scan tools don't allow you to do this. We also have the ability to use module topology or a traditional list, which a lot of tools do not provide that at this price point. And we also showed you some tips and tricks on how you can record your data in a very efficient manner and be able to play it back either on your PC, Macintosh, or the tool itself. So again... Hey, it's Hawken. Just wanted to show you the best place to find all of the current vehicle coverage on any of the Top Don tools, regardless of whether we're talking about the Plus or any other models, is to go to topdon.us. And then we're going to go here to the Support tab, and we're going to click on Vehicle Coverage List. And then we're going to click on Diagnostic Tool for the Phoenix Plus, Professional Diagnostic Tools. I'm going to close that out there, just a reminder there. We're going to select our tool, which is the Phoenix Plus. And now we can click on any brand of vehicle or a special function, like uh, just a basic reset of air-fuel ratio uh, learning or something like that. But basically, we can build out our vehicle and then look at the coverage on the tool for a given function. This is always the best place to go to check your coverage, as this is always the most up-to-date database. So again, topdon.us, and then we're going to click on that support button. So we'll go back to the main page here, topdon.us, and we'll show you one more time. Support, vehicle coverage list, and then we're going to click diagnostic tool, Phoenix Plus, and then we can build our vehicle and look at the coverage. So just wanted to show you that so that you know how you can check coverage on your given tool. Thank you. Hey, it's Hawken on behalf of OBD Advisor and just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch our review video today on the Top Don Phoenix Plus. Be sure to subscribe and watch all of our other videos. Thank you.